everybody knows it's called the thinker but it has a deeper history it was intended as a figure of Dante for a project that Rodin was building in the 1880s for designing doors for the Museum of Decorative Arts in Paris and he conceived a large sculptural doorway that was based on Dante's Inferno, the gates of hell. And this is what we are looking at today, a later version, standalone sculpture, that originally started out as Dante, became a more generic idea of thought and creativity. And what we can see here is this athletic figure with very large muscles, some of which are knotty, representing not so much Dante, who was rather thin and aesthetic, but the muscularity of creation and thought itself.